Good morning, and welcome to another episode of Latitude Living. I appreciate you joining me on this cold, and let me tell you, it's cold here in the low country, like 32 degrees. So cold that I put a post up about how to keep your pipes from freezing. So if you're on Facebook, you probably saw it. I'm Penny Rafferty. I'm with Penny Rafferty Realty. I'm a full-time resident here in Latitude Margarita Belt Hilton Head. I'm also a full-time realtor both in South Carolina and Georgia. And if you've followed me or watched any of my videos in the past, you know that typically I create my videos based upon questions that people ask me. And so this, this week, as I've been talking to people about doing new builds here in Margaritaville, we've discovered Minto has four new floor plans. And I'm so excited, I wanted to share them with you. So if you've noticed, and maybe you haven't, but the Island Collection, the Island Collection is the ones with the three car garages the Trinidad, the Trinidad Bay, all of those. They're so big, Minto really isn't building those anymore. They put three or four, but really the, the list is long and the, the inventory is short for that. And a lot of people say they want a three car garage. I appreciate that. Technically it's a two car garage with a golf cart garage. So what Minto has done is they've taken two of their plans and you can have them either way. And one is called the Cabana Bay and the other one's called the cabana, and they call them tandem. So what that means to you, and you'll have to look it up, but don't know if you can see it here, but in addition to having a two-car garage, they've also made this a little golf cart garage. And someone made a comment, well, Penny, I still have to move out a car in order to get my golf cart out. Let me tell you a secret. We only have one car in our garage. One car, one golf cart. And I'm sure if we had the third one, we'd still be moving cars because we have a lot of crap in our garage. So Mento has done what's called the beach collection. You could still buy the cabana and the cabana bay, or you can buy the cabana, the C cabana bay tandem, meaning you have a two car garage and then a slot for the golf cart. Um, they're both 2253 square feet and they start out at about $461,000. And those are single family homes. So if you're interested in single family homes, check out the website. Go to Latitude Margaritaville Hilton Head, go to locations, drop down to Hilton Head, drop down to floor plans, and look under this, and this is called the Beach Collection. And those are both Cabana and Cabana Bays. Um, but the even more exciting news is that Minto introduced two new cottages. So in addition to the Aloha and the Dreamsicle, which they consider big units or the exterior units, right? And then the interior units, they consider the Camellia and the Bamboo. So when you build, you're attached to either big one and then the little ones can detach to the, the big ones. I know it's kind of confusing. It took me a minute to figure it out. But Minto has introduced two new cottages. One's called the Hula and one's called the Mango. Now here's where you have to wrap your head around this because they're considered big, but they're interiors. So the hula and the mango will attach to the dreamsicle or the aloha. So the bamboo and the chameleon aren't going away. We just have more choices. So let me tell you a little bit about them. And again, go to Latitude Margaritaville, go to locations, click on Hilton Head, Go to floor plans, click on cottages, and you can see all six of them. Now, if you go to Water Sound, they have them in Water Sound. If you come to Hilton Head, we have them in Daytona Beach. They don't have them because they're almost through building out Daytona Beach. So if you want to move there, you have to buy a resale. So the Hula, kind of a cool name, Hula. I anticipate them decorating and dancing girls. Oh, let me tell you, before you ask me, there are no models. Right now, there are no specs, and since they just introduced them, there's no even pre-sales out there for us to look at. So for those of us who are visual, somebody's going to have to be brave and build one, and it's not going to be me. So the Hula is, the Hula is 1,470 square feet, and, oh, 1447, and it's listed at $333,250, and and that doesn't include the lot, which is probably around $30,000. And that doesn't include any of the upgrades, which are typically about 15%, one five, 
15% of the base and the and the the base price of the property and the lot. So this one will end up just a little bit under 400,000 depending upon how fancy you get. If you're fancy like Penny Rafferty and you get quartz that runs up the back, it might cost you a little bit more. So that's the hula. And if you're wondering how they um, the floor plans are in relationship to the others, the Aloha is 1481 square feet. Uh, the bamboo is 1,210 square feet. The camellia is 1,315. And the dream sickle is 1,383. So it just falls right in there. So, and the difference is between the hula and the mango, really one has the master bedroom in the front, the other one has a master bedroom in the back. One looks a lot like a camellia because when you walk through the front door, you see the kitchen. The other one, the kitchen is to the left kind of like the bamboo. So the mango is starting price 333,250. God knows we love round numbers around here. And it is 1456 square feet. Now what's the difference between the mango, mango and the hula other than the placement? Both of them have the third room. So they're a lot like the dream sickle and the aloha. And I do like this because I have a dream sickle on that side and the neighbor has an aloha. So they have the third room. So you have two bedrooms, two bathrooms, and then the third room, which can be a den. You can put French doors on it. It could be a study. It could be a man cave. So exciting news. Um, so the mango and the hula, new cottages, check them out. And then also we have the Trinidad and the Trinidad Bay. Check them out, it's exciting that Minto has given us more options. Now, they're starting to sell in phase eight. So if you're interested in building in phase eight, these are available. They're moving dirt in phase six. And I think phase 10 is gonna be all cottages. Um, so all the cottages, it's just gonna be a cottage community. They're building 144 units. And that's where these new floor plans hopefully will be able to be seen. So Minto is going to be building far into the future. Um, I read on Facebook, I think they need to be done by 2034. So that's another 10 years. So if you're thinking about moving here, the best time to move here was four years ago. The second time is, uh, second best time to move here is now. That's an old adage. So my name is Penny Rafferty. Before you go to Minto, before you cross that threshold, reach out to me. Minto wants you to have a sales representative with you on that first trip. Um, otherwise, they don't compensate if you bring in an outside realtor and they don't come in on the first trip. So I've helped a couple of you. We're on the list for a few of these homes. So I hope that these videos are helpful. Uh, go to my website, Penny Rafferty Realty. I have an online magazine called Latitude Living. What else would it be called? Um, I publish it every month. Um, I can send you a hard copy. But also, if you look Penny Rafferty Realty, there's a little tab that says magazine, and you can click on it. I'm not sure if the back issues are there. I'm not sure how fancy that I am. So today is January 17th, 2024. I say that because whatever prices I quote are only good through today. Um, if you've been following Minto at all, you know that they consistently are increasing their prices. They're constantly changing things to make them better, but also to keep up with inflation. So if you like my videos, you know, give me a nice comment, send me a thumbs up. Otherwise, I hope you're having a fantastic day. My, Penny, my, my name is Penny Rafferty. I do these without any cuts at all, so you get the raw, unfiltered ones. Hope you're having a great day, and as we say here in Margaritaville, fins up.